Easy people. Hope everyone's doing okay. Little walk and talk video today. The electric realm. What an incredible place, huh? Everything is electrical. And yes, my view is that this is a realm. It's not an electrical planet. It's not even a planet. And I'm not going to attempt to persuade you. I don't need to persuade people to see what I see, think what I think, believe what I believe. I have my own views and I'm content with those. But this is an incredible place. Even now, as I'm walking, this fresh air, This is electrically charged at a quantum level. Sorry, just walking through <laughs> an absolute <laughs> heap here, <laughs> keeping me on my toes. Hopefully I'll stay on my feet. <laughs> but even this air, this empty space that is not so empty, the ether, this is electrically charged on a atomic molecular level. When we get down to the quantum field, these atoms and molecules are engaging with their environment, with, with whatever is comes into contact with them, including me, including you, including the trees, the birds, the bees, everything. Also seen some interesting informa information that says that these atoms and molecules are also aware when they're being observed and don't behave in the same way, which I find fascinating. I, I forget which, um, where I saw that or what documentary it was on, but it was really <laughs> just another <laughs> fascinating piece to this world that we're in. And the reason why I believe this world is a realm and not a planet because to me it's stationary. I've had this view from a very, very young age. Didn't think it was flat, but I didn't think we were spinning. I didn't think we were moving at the speeds they told us. And just by simply observing the stars in the night sky, I still came to that conclusion that we are not spinning. We are not spinning. We are stationary. And it's only Oh, oh, I think a fly just went in my mouth there. <laughs> I might edit that out, I might not. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> anyway. What was I saying? We're stationary. And the reason why this is important is because if we are stationary, then we're not just some random place. We're not just some random planet in the middle of nowhere where we've just ended up here through circumstances, through evolution. It would suggest that we're here for a much bigger purpose. That perhaps we're not being told the full picture And you only need to look around, study other fields, other topics, and you start to realize that that isn't so much of a theory. It, really, I'm left with no other conclusion that we're being lied to on a monumental scale. So this realm, what is it? What are we? Who are we? What are we doing here? Because I'm supposed to just accept that I'm here by a chance, a fluke, evolution, middle of nowhere, spinning around the sun. 
and I should just get a career, make money, buy lots of things, become a successful person within the, the world. <laughs> and that's that. But perhaps this is a free will realm, a special place where souls incarnate in this physical avatar. Not always human, animal. And we come here for many reasons. One is to learn, observe, study, grow, evolve, improve, experience, wonder, wander, feel, many things. Now to come to these conclusions that I have, you can't just have one piece of information, it is a jigsaw. You have to attain many, many different pieces and form your own picture of how you perceive things, your perception. Long before I dive down the rabbit hole of what is considered conspiracy information, I believed in spirits, souls, the afterlife. And I still believe that to this day. So that would imply that death is not the end. So what is this place? These are all questions that I suppose are rhetorical in a way because we can't answer them. We can't give definitive answers and pretty sure if you was to ask a whole range of questions to a thousand different people you would get a thousand different answers purely based on the perception and the perception comes from the information attained it's an ongoing process you change your opinion about things your opinions are not set in stone they're a continual a continual process And to me, everything at this moment where I'm at suggests that this electrical realm was once being harnessed, the electrical properties of the ether. And they were generating free energy, free, abundant, clean, electromagnetic energy. And the era that was responsible for this were also responsible for building the magnificent structures and monuments, temples, cities, all of it. They built it all from their understanding of what this place really is. Even just 400 years ago, everybody believed the world was flat. Today we are taught the world is a globe. And not only is it a globe, but we're destroying it. We're destroying it through pollution, through greed, through many, many things, and it's all your fault. It's mine and your fault. And the only way out of it is to introduce measures to stop that. But there's never no light or information or awareness being shed on the actual fabric of this place, the ether. There is a whole lot more going on than we've been told. And this is where the true power really lies. Come into your senses Regaining your power. And living life how you choose to. You don't have to be the same as everyone else. You don't have to do the same as everyone else. This is why myself personally is part of the reason why I 
No longer am I um, um, desperate for people to believe me. As I said at the start of this video, you can take it or leave it. It's my view. And perhaps really coming round, waking up fully, isn't meant for everyone. Perhaps they have to go through certain things in this incarnation, because I do believe in reincarnation. Countless pieces of evidence to support that as well. It's not just a wild theory that I'm throwing at you now to support my claims about this realm being special for many reasons. You can see children that recount previous lives, uh, birthmarks in places where they say they were were wounds from a stab wound or a, or a gunshot wound in a foreign country and their parents are just completely baffled at all this information that their child's given them and they look into it and it was actually a real person you also have children and protégés who can speak fluently in a different language before they can even speak in the language of the country that they're living in or can play musical instruments beyond <laughs> beyond any sort of ability of a child that age. So these things are another piece that a jigsaw that support what I see, what I, what I view and what I believe about this place. Have to be aware of the timer there, guys. I'm not actually allowed to uh, upload videos that are longer than 15 minutes at the moment until I get verified, both channels Nearly there, this one's about halfway there. Uh, Dissolved Illusion is mm, about 80% of the way there now, but they've already put a strike on that channel, so I'm not too sure whether that is gonna affect things. We shall wait and see on that one. But anyway, just wanted to touch down and just, just speak, just speak about <laughs> how I perceive things. Like I say, it's, I'm not really gonna try to persuade you if, it, if it's, I watched a, uh, um, a debate, it wasn't really a debate, it was just a hit piece on someone who was giving flat earth information and somebody was saying you're stupid, you don't know all of the the terms and the science and the astrology and all of these things, you don't know, you don't know, so you're wrong, you're just stupid and it becomes laughable. That's why I'm not going to try to uh, persuade people to, to agree with me, it doesn't matter anymore, it doesn't matter. You know? As far as I'm concerned, that sun is the one that's moving. We're not moving. And you cannot tell me any different. Keep observing it. Keep that in your thoughts. Just that simple, simple piece of evidence right there. Are we really spinning at the speeds that they say? Moving around the sun in the middle of nowhere? Or is this a stationary realm? And that sun is moving above us. Anyway, I've only got a minute left, so we'll wrap this one up here. I'll touch down again real soon. Um, yeah, if you want me to speak about anything, just let me know. Let me know and I'll, if I've got an opinion on it or a view, and yeah, perhaps we can jump in that way. Anyway, take care of one another, as always. I'll see you all real soon. Peace and love.